the world is changing. So is disease. With the increase in global travel, the threat of a deadly pandemic sweeping the planet is no longer a question of if, but when. That's why the University of Saskatchewan is building InterVac, a cutting-edge containment level 3 facility for the study and treatment of some of the world's most deadly diseases. Funded by all levels of government and the Canada Foundation for Innovation, led by Vito, the Vaccine and Infectious Disease Organization, and envisioned by Vito's former head, Dr. Lauren Babiuk, InterVac, the International Vaccine Centre, will open its doors in spring of 2011. Dr. Andrew Potter is Vito InterVac's current director. He says now is one of the most exciting times to be working here. InterVac is going to be one of the largest facilities of its kind in North America. Despite Vito's tremendous success in the past at developing vaccines and commercializing them, there's been a number of times when we have not been able to go all the way due to the lack of a facility. InterVac is going to change all that. It's going to allow us to go full circle in the development of vaccines, their testing, and ultimately their commercialization with our partners. With their partners in both government and industry, Vito InterVac creates a one-stop shop for vaccine development and delivery. Students and researchers play a key role in this collaboration. In fact, more than 40% of Vito's staff are graduate students and postdoctoral fellows. Vito InterVac is training the next generation of scientists who will develop life-saving vaccines. I moved to Vito InterVac to study from Kenya because of its vision. I take a great pride in being part of the team that's involved in developing vaccines that will save millions of lives. University President Peter McKinnon. Along with the Canadian Light Source and our unique array of life sciences programs at the University of Saskatchewan, InterVac is attracting interest from top faculty and students from around the world. With commercial potential and economic spin-offs for Saskatoon and the province, InterVac will create numerous research-related jobs. As one of the largest containment level 3 vaccine research facilities using large animals in North America, Vito InterVac will provide labs for infectious disease R&D and development of vaccines and therapeutics to improve livestock and human health. Vito scientist Dr. Sylvia Vandenherk studies various livestock and human diseases. One of her current research projects relates to hepatitis C, a disease that affects 170 million people worldwide. Persistent hepatitis C infection can lead to extensive liver damage and is thought to affect human cells that are key to developing immune responses. Entervac is going to be of huge benefit for us because we will be using the facilities. Um, our hepatitis C research will uh, move more rapidly. We will be able to develop vaccines. Uh, as well as therapeutics in persistently infected patients. It's top quality research like this and the resulting intellectual property that is attracting biopharmaceutical companies and researchers from all around the world. Another significant aspect of InterVac will be its openness and transparency. The university has set up an independent committee to ensure the public knows that InterVac is being built to the highest specifications for safety and security. Patricia Rowe is co-chair of the Vito InterVac Community Liaison Committee. Well, I think it's extremely important to the public and that's why we put together a group of community leaders who are totally committed to the issue of safety and communication around the International Vaccine Centre. We want that communication to be full and transparent. We all have a role to play safeguarding our planet. The world is changing. And so is disease. With InterVac, we'll be ready.